Hi, this is Mark from Wind and Solar. I just welcome you to our installation video on the two kilowatts. The two first sections of this video are really about getting that tailpiece on the right way around um, to avoid damage. Okay, so here we've got the mast pole on what I would call, if that's the front, this would be the right hand side of the turbine. Okay, it's off center so that this gets blown around the other way when there's a strong wind. So for it to be able to do that, this, this part here needs to be fitted this way around with this open side on the pole side, not the other side. If you put the other side on this side, you'll burn the turbine out. Okay. This is uh, so I'm going to lift this up so you can see what's happening. So when the wind blows very strongly, it'll bend the turbine around or the mast, and this gives us the tail the ability to move out the way. If you do it the other way around, the tail keeps fighting the wind and it keeps the turbine into the wind. Okay, so that needs to be able to move like this away from the pole away from the pole side, in other words, to the heavy side. Oops, sorry, that was a bit... Okay, so it needs to be able to move away from the mast towards the heavy side of the turbine. The heavy side being off-center. Okay, I think it's, it's obvious enough that you can see that that's where the mast goes on. Um, and if you look at it from the top, you'll see it is off-center. Okay, so this little shoulder piece here... Oops, I'm shaking around a lot, sorry. This little shoulder piece must be on this side, opposite side to the pole, and these open slots must be on the side of the mast. Okay, very important, don't forget. Okay, now that we've got the tail on, I want you to look at the tail piece where the, where the tail goes on, so it does not face that way. It needs to be oriented that way, with a smaller pointy bit at the top. And it goes on the back end. Let me just do this quickly. Right, goes on that side, on the opposite side to the pole. Okay. Don't ask me why, that's the way it is designed. Alright, needs to be this way around, not upside down, not facing backwards, just like this. Right, next thing is where the hub goes on. The, the blade hub, it fits onto here with a little nib that slots into this groove here. It is very important that you put some lubricant on this. Um, we use this product, it's cheaper than copper slip. Uh, it's the same thing, there's there are four or five products that are very similar to this. You just need some sort of lubricant on here so that you can get that hub off again when you want to do maintenance or something goes wrong and you need to get into here. Um, if that's seized on there, it's, it's a real pain. So always put something on there. I should get uh, advertising rights from Herschel, but um, you get the point. Okay, copper slip on here, and then put your hub on. Okay. Right, I've just moved this over out the way so I can put the blades together. Um, but this shows again which side the pole would be orientated on. In this case, it'd be at the back. This little um, elbow shoulder piece must be on this side, furthest away from the pole. Then the tail piece is on uh, on on this side of the of this shaft, not the other side. Okay, it's it's designed to be on this side for some reason. I think it makes a difference, but just in case, I'd rather just do it like this. And a little pointy bit at the top. You'll see there's a smaller smaller distance here compared to there. Um, we've put some writing and branding on so you can see which way around up is um, and then obviously points towards the generator into the wind okay and right next we are doing the blades right now for the blade assembly so you get three blades nice big fiberglass jobs and over here is the blade hub if you have a look at the back of the blade hub there's a little pin inside the shaft, oops, just over there. That slides into a slot on the shaft that goes into the turbine. So that's the back. Okay, narrow side at the front. 
the blades fit on the blades fit on like that and then there's a plate that goes on there which stops everything moving around Okay, so here we got two blades on so far um, before tightening it it needs to be measured from tip to tip so don't do the tightening just yet just put it lightly in place okay so now before we tighten up the blades we just need to check that the distances between the tips are all the same and here we have still our illustrious support okay so it goes from oh, sorry you can get the pooch out of the way come okay, mind going from the outside of the blade here to the outside of the blade here and we've got two four three eight okay can you move across to say this this one across here yeah go there thank you right same thing now we actually cheated because i checked this just now and it was actually spot on so but we're going to show you anyway so then we've got same distance there Okay, and, and this one is literally within the millimeter. Sometimes they're a little bit out and you've just got to pull it straight and then tighten that up. Okay, so here we have the turbine blades attached. Um, remember to put grease on the shaft before you slide this on, otherwise you will not get it off. Okay, we've got our blades. We've got the tail on nicely. Now we're going to do the nose cone. The nose cone screws into the middle of this shaft so this is the bolt that holds the nose cone on okay so i'm going to put the nose cone on now okay something to look out for you see the little recess there it looks like it's made for perfect fit of that but they supply um they supply the bolt with a washer let me just get the washer on quickly like that to spread the surface area of the pressure which is probably better for the nose cone so I would suggest putting it on like that so that you don't over tighten it and pull the bolt all the way through right just so just to recap stop it from turning around so the open end here must be on the side of the shaft the little shoulder bits here must be on the opposite side if you look at the orientation of the bolt that goes through the back there you can see it nicely from here that little bolt that goes through the back you'll you'll see it's at, a, at an angle like that and that is to allow i want to hold the phone on the tailpiece so hopefully that works that is to allow oh i don't know if that's going to show properly the breakaway I don't know if that, that came out, it's a bit difficult to do on my own. Okay, so in a strong wind, because the turbine is off center, it's going to want to be pushed around this way. So what would happen if, it, if the tail couldn't um, bend, is the tail would get pushed back again. It would get pushed back and then you'd, you'd end up in a situation where as the wind gets stronger, the turbine would have to go faster and faster. Is the way it's set up like this, as the wind blows it around, this tail can bend. Um, it's a bit difficult to do this without holding the other end. But it'll be able to do that, which is really important because that allows the turbine to slow down. 